brakes themselves are, are like they're definitely wore out. But I'm wondering if it's the uh, not the caliper, the um, um, there's a, a master cylinder up here. Oh, of some that, kind. That yeah, quite possible. It could be. Quite no, not the not the one on the handle. There's another. There's an actuator up in here somewhere. We'll see. I'll see if I can get these done. That's weird, eh? Can't buy bugles in Edmonton. There's an actuator in here. It operates uh, calipers. Very interesting. Didn't realize that was empty. <clears throat> yeah, let's uh, see how much wear there should be. These pads are about an eighth of an inch. I have a fair amount of pad left there. But they taper down to nothing. I would guess that's the 
inside one. Yeah. So we're gonna replace them. That took a fair amount of grease. As simple as that.
I got a bushing going on the front end. Hey? first put the brakes on because I think I can drop those without uh, pulling the piston no. or pull the shock no I'm not to pull the shock it comes mm -hmm. off easy mm -hmm. but those shouldn't be walking around like that interesting well I'll get that out Doesn't have the retaining clip. This is different.
right there, and right there. You gotta track down some paint. Those are just bushings in there. It's been greased. That's what was rattling around. Remember me saying there's something loose? Yeah. There. I'm surprised we didn't lose that. It wasn't far from coming off. Okay, problem solved. Hold on. About an eighth of an inch, about three sixteenths, but tapers down to almost nothing. Go back in the same way they came out. Sell some blue Loctite. Perfect, but it looks not bad.
I've had these off um, on my 600 because the bearing had seized, had, the bearing had actually seized here and I had to knock it out of there so I had to take this whole assembly off so I've got a video on the 600 which is the exact same, well I don't know if it's exactly the same, it looks the same set up. two holes on here for the water bin. I might have some new water bins on a little bit.
three sixteenths.
push there this sticks out a little bit beyond the back of that so that'll be good <coughs> Might have missed a grease dirt on the other side. I see one on that A-arm that I didn't see. Um, I've got a filter. That filter, I might have changed the oil. I thought we did. No, you weren't here. No, I, no, I thought you did change the yeah. oil on it. I don't remember. That's a pretty new filter. It's not, no, there's no marking on it. I'll pull the dipstick, see how she looks. Because it hasn't been... No, it hasn't run a lot, but... Maybe. <laughs> maybe I got 50, a lot of freaking grease out of the back of that one. Maybe 50 hours worth of riding, if that... I, uh, I heard it snap, the seal, though, oh. when I was greasing. I'm going, ah, it should be out. It usually pops out the front. Mm -hmm. but it came out the back. A little grease on the brakes won't hurt. <laughs> Below. But I can get them for a fair amount in there. Oh, I didn't see any mud bogging water this year, so well, that was from... Yeah, this this was just covered. I think mud. that was from the year before. <laughs> no, that's uh, from this year. Uh, what am I looking for? <clears throat> I'm looking for that. Won't go on that end. Do we know what the squeaking is? Yeah, that was that uh, A arm that. Uh, that was that A arm that was loose. That would cause the squeak? Yeah. That was the brake or a wheel. Well, it easily could have been the. No, it was coming from. It was coming on the passenger side. It's on that side. Passenger side. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Single wide, two wide. <clears throat> um, that was that, that was the A arm. Uh, I'm positive. I was thinking wheel, wheel bearing or something. Nope. Everything's tight. 